اللهم تقبل صيامنا اللهم تقبل صيامنا اللهم تقبل سجودنا وركوعنا برحمتك يا رب العالمين اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا فاعف عنا يا كريم فاعف عنا يا رحيم فاعف عنا يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم اغفر لنا ما قدمنا وما أخرنا وما أسررنا وما أعلنا وما أنت أعلم به منا إنك أنت السميع القريب برحمتك يا رب العالمين What do you do when you see this in the Quran? When you see the symbol right here, this means you need to do a sujood. So when you finish reading the ayah, you get down and you do your sajda. It's the last 10 nights of Ramadan, the best nights of the whole entire year. You may be regretful because you feel like you haven't done enough and it's already the last 10. Maybe you feel like you've done so much, I don't know. But don't let the regret of what you haven't done stop you from making the most of right now. If you are here, Allah has honored you with witnessing the best nights of the year. And here are a few very easy ways as Ramadan comes to a close. The first dua, you can say it in English or in Arabic or in any other language. You are given a good deed for every single person. When you hear it, you're going to understand that that's literally billions of people. Say this after me. Oh Allah, forgive me, my parents, and all of the believers, those who are alive and those who have passed away. In Arabic, one variation of this can be Rabbil firli wali wali وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات. We just got billions of good deeds, inshallah. Allah is so merciful, subhanAllah. All right, number two. A very short variation in Arabic is Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Oh Allah, send your blessings upon Muhammad, peace be upon him. When you do this, when you send salam on the Prophet, peace be upon him, Angel Jibreel himself sends salam to you. You are raised 10 ranks in paradise, you are forgiven 10 sins, and you receive 10 rewards. Do you understand that Ramadan, the end of Ramadan, is not about whether or not you've done enough? It's about the fact that this month is the month of mercy and that Allah is the merciful, whether or not you feel like you're deserving of it. The third is even if you feel like you haven't done anything, I want you to imagine a parent who doesn't know if they can feed their children tomorrow night. Grandparent who is elderly, who is starving and hasn't eaten for two days. If you donate even $5, you could be relieving the burden, the stress, the pain of an individual. Don't underestimate that deed. Mercy Relief is an organization I really recommend. They're a registered charity. Finally, the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught us a dua to make, especially in these last 10. Allahumma innaka afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. Oh Allah, you are the most forgiving and you love forgiveness, so forgive me. Oh, also, like, super important tip for Ramadan, please make dua for me and my loved ones. And the whole Ummah, obviously. And remember, never compare your life with the ones who enjoy Haram, even if it may seem as if they are more successful or happier. Nothing in this world is worth losing your deen and Akira over. <laughs>